They said, you have a blue guitar. You do not play things as they are. The man replied, things as they are are changed upon the blue guitar. Those lines from the great American poet Wallace Stevens are an inspiration behind my thinking for the 2013 Edinburgh International Festival program. The ways in which artists seemingly from the simplest objects or the simplest ideas transform utterly our perception of the world around us. Let me give you three examples of some artists, some great artists, who have had perceptions about the way in which simple things can be transformed in ways that no one else has thought about or even contemplated. The relationship that Beethoven had with the Broadwood Piano Manufacturing Company, the company that brought the steel frame into what had been a timber framed instrument, led to the extraordinary expansion of opportunities of the piano repertoire. The Hammer Clavier Sonata is a great example. Its pounding, pulsating opening chords sound ridiculous on any other instrument other than a metal-framed, high-octane instrument ready for that great experience. As a child growing up in Australia, my Saturday afternoons were spent in the company of some extraordinary people from the United Kingdom, all of them on radio. The wireless imagination of people like the Goons, Dylan Thomas, and most especially Samuel Beckett were part of my childhood. And it was from that great era of radio and radio collaborations and commissions in the 1950s and 1960s that we have invited the Gate Theatre of Dublin and Pan Pan Theatre, a young theatre group from Dublin, to present a little festival within a festival of the works of the great Irish playwright, author, poet and thinker Samuel Beckett. If ours is an age obsessed by image or the reproduction of images, then the work of the great South Korean artist Nam Joon Pike is a perfect example of how we think about, how we read and how we live in our contemporary world. Long before anyone was thinking about video installation, this great South Korean artist was doing exactly that, foretelling a world in which the recorded image would become more truthful than actual fact itself. In many of his early videos, he records in quite an act of subversion a burning piano long before any of the contemporary artists who are perhaps better known for that kind of work actually do it themselves. He's a true original, he's very witty, he's very subversive, and you must not miss the exhibition at the Talbot Rice Gallery at the University of Edinburgh of Nam Joon Pike, a great pioneer of the video age. Talking of recorded images, our productions, our live productions this year are abounding with recorded or previously recorded images. In the Worcester Group's presentation of Hamlet, the role of Hamlet is shared by the living actor Scott Shepherd and the recorded image of Richard Burton, taken from a performance that Mr Burton gave in the same role as Mr Shepherd in 1964 on Broadway. Or Philip Glass, who has wonderfully recreated the exquisite world of Jean Cocteau, particularly his masterpiece La Belle et la Bête, Beauty and the Beast, his 1946 film, digitally remastered in a way that allows a platform for Philip Glass's precise musical imagination to bring that old film into a new realm of contemporary opera. Philip Glass is also joined in a tribute to the great beat poet Allen Ginsberg by another great poet, Patti Smith. And making his operatic debut, the great installation video artist Gary Hill from California reimagines the power relationships in Beethoven's opera Fidelio 
and places those power relationships in limbo in a production that is inspired by Beethoven's own music and the contemporary culture and vernacular of Clockwork Orange and the films of Stanley Kubrick. Not that the Edinburgh International Festival in 2013 is obsessed with science fiction. Nevertheless, a brand new production, a world premiere by the Scottish company Gridiron, asks us to leave planet Earth and do so via a lunar landscape of very practical dimensions that is the scene of their site-specific theatrical mayhem. There are several festivals within a festival this year, the Beckett Festival from the Gate and Pan Pan, but also a wonderful project in collaboration with Scottish Ballet, Scottish Dance Theatre and Chesk Jellabear's company from Barcelona. Dance Odysseys literally is a way of taking over and infusing every idea and every space in a theatre conceivable for a dance celebration over one wonderful weekend in August. Given the amount of dance that's come out of Los Angeles, Busby Berkeley, Ginger and Fred, it's extraordinary that there hasn't been until now a permanent contemporary dance company in that great city. Benjamin Milpier, famous for his work on Black Swan as the choreographer of that Hollywood film, is rectifying that situation. He started his own dance company and we're very proud to be bringing them for their UK debut in a triple bill including works by Benjamin himself, Merce Cunningham and William Forsyth. Our music program in 2013 has been conceived in two equal parts, looking forward and looking back. The University of Edinburgh is a veritable treasure trove of ancient rare instruments and Christophe Rousset, Nicola Boud will be performing on some of those gorgeous instruments both at the Queen's Hall and St Cecilia's Hall in music that is written very much for those idea of old style instruments, mellow, beautiful, gorgeous objects, museum objects in and of themselves creating wonderful very subtle sounds. And in terms of contemporary culture, why not experience the Bavarian Radio Symphony Orchestra's performance of Mahler's Second Symphony under the baton of Maris Janssens, and two nights earlier, experience Luciano Barrio's wonderful innovative mashup, a very different kind of contemporary tribute to the same symphony of Mahler in Berio's Symphonia with the BBC Scottish Symphony Orchestra and Ilan Volkov. Laurie Anderson, Frank Zappa, Edgard Varese, Stockhausen, some very popular and some very contemporary artists rounding out the experience of innovation and excitement in our music programme. The 2013 Ember International Festival invites you on a very special journey a journey mediated, to be sure, by technology, but of course, technology in the hands of great artists, in which our perceptions of our world, our live perceptions of performance, our recorded perceptions, our archives, and our thoughts and our dreams are all melded into a very special dreamlike world, where Samuel Beckett, Johann Sebastian Bach, Nam June Pike, Leonardo da Vinci, Richard Burton, to name but a few, are the players on this particular wonderful canvas in your favourite festival city.